enough to bite. Hey, buddy. Enough to bite. Open up and see how much teeth you got. Uh -huh. Oh, you got some choppers in there. Yes, sir. Sure <laughs> you got some choppers. Yeah. It probably hurt. Yeah. It's not. It's not. They live right in Blacksburg. Right, uh, right inside Blacksburg. As a matter of fact, you just. They go. You can go there's like two X's in Blacksburg. Uh -huh. It's off to the left. And you can, uh, it's that big Blacksburg sign right there. And they live right in there. Go down. Look over there, you're on TV, buddy. You're on TV. A hotel resort. Yeah. Top you're on TV, son. It's off 460 to the left. Hey, buddy. Mm -hmm. You go right over right there. That's what they film, Dirty Dancing. Well, Deanna's been there. What's she, that? Uh, she showed it to me. Well, she had pictures of it along yeah. when her dad took her over there, and she was standing right there they were doing Dirty Dancing. We so were there and the fog rolled in about the time we got there. The big bank of fog. Mm -hmm. You in the movie or? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sort of yeah well, you gotta give them back to me. He says it's a nice area. You gotta nice. give them back to me. I gotta have them back, buddy. Oh, oh, oh like little bit of higher elevation seems to be. Oh, heavens. Like. Oh, this is in the last No. You can't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to let go of it, or? There you I was in Kansas in October. <laughs> Everything was Wizard of Oz. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Got your route plan. We come yeah. every week when we went to childbirth classes. <laughs> yeah. 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 We had those yeah. in November. Holly, we wanted to get a best one. We got a little We're at Thomas. Wouldn't even wait for her. Yeah, I was going to laugh. And so um, it's a it's a it's a personal growth process. It's like a therapy. I couldn't watch the other my cable lady. I'm very interested in this.
to tell you, our almost fell over. And that thing is yeah. free. Oh, yeah. Who did you get the letter from? Oh, yes. Who did, who did you get it from? Mr. Clinton. Clinton. Uh, huh? Thanking me for all the hard work we did. Oh, uh, what work did you do? <laughs> Making phone calls trying to get West Virginians out when he was here. Oh. Uh. What was that? 90. Three or what? four or five, ninety-five maybe. And just to see him or something? Yes. Well, uh, he gave a speech. Uh, did he sign it personally or? Huh? Well, now I have not had a diet. Did you see all those dyes? Where oh, they did yeah. the test and the and the largest? Yeah. Mm -hmm. the largest ain't Forensics they if they can it. find fingerprints on the paper and. You think? I mean, he was signing it personally or? Well, I don't know. I've never had a test on them. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't, they don't do that a whole lot. Yeah. Don't they? Well, they, they got some kind now, of pen. I don't believe it hasn't been stamped. Well, they have some kind of pen that'll... I don't know, but it does not look like... It looks like, like a signature? Yes. I don't yeah. think it's been stamped. Which wow, it's... that sucker, if he sent me a... Well, he didn't sit there. <laughs> It wasn't sitting there signing. You remember vote. what they said last I, night? I just won't vote for him the yeah. next time. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Just don't threaten him. They'll talk to you. Remember what they <laughs> Well, they got machines that will... I got a letter. It was a fundraising letter from William F. Buckley, and I, I looked at it and figured... I William F. Buckley. Mm -hmm. I figured this guy couldn't be spending 100,000... something like 100,000 letters. So I figured there had to be some kind of mechanical way to do it. Well, this was just a thank you letter for all the hard work mm -hmm. I did. And I had about seven counties. What do we make it in? It takes me 14. We left after work. We stopped at Princeton for at least an hour or so for dinner. We didn't ten and a half, did we? Because we ended up stopping when we worked very hard. Yeah. 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 She's going to be up and ready to go. Yeah. 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 Which one are you go? Savannah. Well, it was like 2 o'clock in the morning, though. We didn't want to drive them in because they weren't expecting us until Thanksgiving Day. Yeah. So, no, I was going to say Savannah's way out of the way. I mean, you don't have to go all the way into Savannah. Well, it wasn't well, really wait. in Savannah, but it was. In route I've gone 75, never mind. From 75, you have to go all the way to the coast to Savannah. So. We went down to 95. I'm going to stay at Y'all went down the turnpike, 77. <coughs> All the way no. to Columbia. 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 Yeah. 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 95 straight so. You pick up 95 right? That's <laughs> there. <laughs> well, or so the good one? 26. 26. 26. You got to take it for a couple miles. Couple miles. It runs you right into it. That's what we did. We did it in the hand. We went down by way of Dublin, Georgia. Mom, just make sure you go to the bathroom before you leave. It's all there. Thank you. Get you some hey, Bob, don't forget. Take some crackers and pop it a little bit. <laughs> put that practice in practice one of these days. You know, it's okay to stop. It's been time to look. I think it really is. It's really, yeah. it's, it really is. Best story of all is when I ruptured my Achilles tendon and your mom came back with Jane and Aaron. You flew home. Florida and I flew home. She had the best time. Took yeah, six days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best vacation they ever had, so they got to stop being when they wanted to. I understand. I take my time. I remember that now. You don't have to leave. I've had since I was little. She had a few. It was mine. She'd be all right. That was one of them. Uh, Tom's virtues. He always let me take all my time doing whatever I wanted to do. Well, he knew if he didn't, I'd, I'd leave him at home. <laughs> That's not bad. He took me to his son one time when I wanted to go, and that was cool. It's only for Christmas. So you, you just got to do that a couple times. Did you hear that, Bobby? It's having party at that house Friday night. Merry Christmas. For the ball game. I want to go to bed. Hope you feel better. I hope so. Uh, uh, <laughs> my wife got two. I got a some company. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't think bad thing about <laughs> going to mom or dad?
I will not give a dime towards the artist's son. I will give all my time and effort and money to build a historical museum for the Kanawha. We need one desperately. You didn't come to the meeting in the house, the middle okay. house up on Bridge Road. Take care. Bye bye, Ernie. Glad you came. Yeah, just saying. Five or six <laughs> different think labels on think it. it. I was just choked on my cookie when I said that. <laughs> Take care. And you're in the house. We almost had Ed and Allison and Chris. Yeah. And Allison and Chris. Macomb and Allison. Yeah. 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 Y'all have a good weather? Oh, that's good. Yeah. Well, here's that. It'll have a protector on it so that it doesn't have that much. Oh, God. 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 Knowing Jeff, he may never give her the car, even when she gets her driver's license. She stayed out a little late one night this summer. One night. We only dated about two years ago. Pretty late. She didn't call me. Holly's looking at me. She buried two of them, didn't she? Yes, she well, she's buried to our uh, <laughs> grandfather, who died of the flu in World War I, but she lost a couple. Right? And then she married this other guy, and then her mother, the grandma, the grandmother, didn't get along very well, so she divorced him. And then she married Mr. Goodwill. He dropped down the way. He committed suicide. But he left her with a, uh, what do you call it? Um, <laughs> And then kind of, uh, how's yours going? Pension. Pension? No, it wasn't a pension. That's what I'd call it a pension. Trust fund. That's what I do. I don't, I don't need a teacher's lounge this year. And everybody well, of course, she also, we also left her with Howard. Well, yeah, with Howard. Howard took a cow and sold it and bought a car the night of his father's funeral and wrecked it. And put a woman in the hospital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I think you should open the present. Bought it, used to, sold a cow? Mm -hmm. You got a car for a cow back then? Where are you? You're in uh, Fort Myers. Well, here's your mom back. So. <laughs> 
Yeah, so I missed you. Yeah. They have a good birthday too. I know that's bright. Oh man, he had a he, he, he had a valuable estate, didn't he? Yeah, I haven't seen much of it. If you total it up, yeah. For back then. I guess that would have been pretty sizable then, though. I was just saying a while ago, I thought we should open our presents. <laughs> You're right. You've always been like that. Spanked me on Christmas Eve for opening a present. Money is really not money. Yeah, that was what, honey, that was when I thought that everything could be perfect. I thought everything could be perfect. I've since changed my mind. I'm still living with Eric. And close to perfect. I'm still living with Eric. You could be held responsible for that. Thank you. And we'll have to edit that tape. I'm going to do this carefully so I say the wrapping. You want to the that's why you were looking at that. I thought that's pretty timely here. Ah, that's a good old Family poster. name history. Historical Research Center. Ah. One well, of the internet jobs. It's a size rendering of the German name Beifert, which is classified as being of occupative origin. Such a broad term is used to describe family names which have taken their origin from the trade officer profession of the first bearer of the name. Occupational names may be agricultural in origin, as in the case of the surname Bauer, farmer, or they may refer to one who makes objects, as in the case of Schmidt, smith, while a name such as Mingbert, peddler, derives from the retail trade, referring to one who sells products. With regard to the surname Weifert, the appellation who was derived from the middle low German word weaver or weaver denoting a weaver of cloth. Textiles were the first real industry of medieval Europe and the manufacture of cloth was concentrated in the urban areas of northern Italy, western Germany and in Flanders. Some textile workers participated in the putting out system and worked in their own homes while others were assembled in large workshops. Variants of the surname Viper include Viper, that Viefer and Viver. We, I guess Weaver comes from that. One of the earliest references to this name or to a variant is a record of one Matthias Weaver, Sive Textor Citizen Weaver, a citizen of Hamburg in the year 1275. Germany was one of the first countries in Western Europe to employ fixed family names that were passed on from one generation to the next. Indeed, we find recorded in the Ormisches Urkundenbuch, reference book of the city of Ulm, a surname which dates as far back as 1208, while there are some German names which were recorded in the 12th century. This name was introduced to North America as early as 1754, in which year we find a record of the immigration of Johann Jörg Weifert, who sailed to Philadelphia. And we've got, we know where he's buried, too. Blazon of arms, professed first for demi Gules, second Gules, of the in the Gules, charged with two stars, origin Germany. Actually, from the Palatinate, Palatine. the, what is known as the Palatinate. Mm -hmm. I better go out. Pinguino? You'll be all right. Yeah. Papagayo? Does that got a Spanish mm -hmm. name? I guess it's a pair because it's more. The penguin. Or? Looks like a penguin, but it's got the colors of them. Oh, 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 oh. Uh oh. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Disaster right. coming. Oh, he's got that one. Put it on his head. Okay, buddy. Hey, buddy.
Yeah. That's the one. Is that the one that's got the dinosaurs in it? Uh -huh. Is this one? Who's this one? Tommy. Mm -hmm. Cranberry. Uh oh. Oh, dinosaurs. Now we're going to have to get out the, it's a triceratops. the illustrated uh, dictionary. This might not be in the regular dictionary. It's a triceratops. <laughs> You still yeah, doing that? Oh yeah, something. Penguin all. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> that is a <laughs> cocoa. Oh, he's, 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 he's not interested in the leaf bit. Is he okay? Tyrannosaurus. Yay! Stegosaurus. Yeah. No, let me look at it. It's a brontosaurus. Non sequitur. That's a Dalmatian. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> Dalmatian. Let's Lucky. Lucky, and who's and the other one? Oh, you koala. Get two koalas, huh? The baby. The baby koala goes on the back of the big one. Okay. You got some buttons here. You got to watch them on. This one's on. That's even pretty. Lucky e jewel. Oh, the Dalmatian. Okay. Where is it? Okay. There should be a stegosaurus in there somewhere. He didn't even see it. Maybe already got it out. I think we're right there's, there's another one out there. We're already here and maybe we'll catch something over there. Ah. Okay. Hopefully not. Okay. <laughs> well, we're glad you got here. Uh, have a I don't know. There were three dinosaurs. Yeah, yeah. Should have been a fourth one. Just actually. Okay. But then she took one of those cold chill things. Right? Mm -hmm. What's that green one? Yeah, T-Rex. Like the green one. Yeah. Which one? Yeah, what is it? Because she wasn't that bad. T-Rex. 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 T-R